Hi, I'm Paul Drew. In this video, I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to take audio out of Pro Tools to be fixed in Revoice Pro and back out again into Pro Tools. First, let's have a quick listen to the tracks that need fixing. As you can hear, there are a few problems that need fixing in this track. The lead vocal needs tuning, the two double tracks need to be put in tune and in time with the lead vocal. And lastly, there's a low harmony vocal that I'm gonna turn into a stereo vocal for extra width. If you look at the Revoice Pro window, you'll see that there are three tracks. As I'm gonna be processing four vocals, I need to create an extra track in Revoice Pro. So all I need to do is to right click here and choose add tracks. And let's call this one audio four. Let's get the audio out of Pro Tools and into Revoice Pro. I'm gonna click on my audio suite menu and choose other and go down to Revoice Pro link. If you want a really fast preset based workflow, you might also wanna consider looking at Revoice Pro APT and the Revoice Pro Doubler. These are included when you purchase Revoice Pro and the function of these are covered in other videos on the Synchro Arts website. But I'm just gonna click on Revoice Pro link. All I need to do is to transfer the tracks one by one to Revoice Pro. And I'm gonna click on Leadvox one and transfer to Audio one as it shows here in the drop down menu and then push capture. Let's do the same for the next track, but send this one to Audio two and push capture. And as you can see, it's transferred that audio to Audio two. Let's now send double two over to Audio three in Revoice Pro and again, push capture. And last of all, I've got my mono harmony track, which I'm gonna send over to audio four. Let's expand the window in Revoice Pro so we can see exactly what's going on. Let's solo the lead vocal and have a listen so we can hear the problem. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. As you can hear, there's a note that needs to be tuned. So I'm gonna push the W key to create a warp region on that track. And let's push this icon here to expand the view for that track. The warp mode can also be used to change the length of a note, edit vibrato, de-breath and DS. And all of these functions are demonstrated in other videos on the Synchro Arts website. Let's have another listen. My heart is an ocean. And there's the note that needs to be fixed. If I hold down my option key, I can drag this up in semitones. Let's hear it again. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can save it. Nothing at all. So now that's fixed, let's click on that icon again so we can expand out to the full view. Okay, let's now create an APT, which stands for Audio Performance Transfer. This basically means I'm gonna be transferring the pitch and the timing of the lead vocal to the double track vocals, which are clearly out of time. My heart, My heart is, is an ocean. ocean. All I need to do is to right click here and choose APT. My guide is Audio 1 and my dub is audio two. Now I'm gonna be creating multiple processes as I want to process audio three at the same time. So I'm gonna choose two here. Let's click on presets, go down to factory presets, and I'm gonna choose vocal slightly loose timer pitch, and then click new process. As you can see, this has created two output tracks with the fixed double track vocals. Now I wanna clean up the view, so I'm gonna highlight the two old double tracks and move them over to my groups and there I can mute and hide the tracks. And let's hear where we are so far. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm. Lastly, I wanna create a stereo harmony out of the mono harmony track that we brought in earlier. But let's have a quick listen to that first. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So let's right click down here and I'm gonna choose new doubler. We're gonna choose audio four as our input and I'm gonna click on presets and choose factory presets and then stereo vocal loose timing. Let's choose new process. Let's mute the old track and let's hear where we are. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm.
Now all that's left to do is to get the audio out of Revoice Pro back into Pro Tools. I make sure the audio I want to transfer back is highlighted by clicking on it and then highlight the audio file I want to replace in Pro Tools and choose Spot. Now I'm going to get my doubles back in Pro Tools. So again, highlight the track in Pro Tools, click on the audio I want to transfer in Revoice Pro and choose Spot. And now the same for my second double track. Now I haven't changed the harmony track, I've just created a new stereo version. So I'm gonna leave that track and create a new stereo track in Pro Tools. Let's bring the new harmony track back to Pro Tools by selecting a space in the new track. The file from Revoice Pro contains timecode information, so it'll snap back to the correct place. Choose Spot, and now in Pro Tools, let's hear the finished result. I hope you got something out of that and I'll see you next time. Cheers.